Welcome back. This is the Peachy X2 multi-tool. Now I've already done a review of this tool and given my thoughts about the good and the bad, but today we're not talking about this tool. We're going to talk about these. Here are the tools that we will be talking about. This is the original Peachy X2. This is the Giriatis 7-in-1 multi-tool. And this is the Resafely multi-tool. Now, you can look at these and see that these are all quite clearly uh, have the same inspiration. I believe that the Peachy X2 is the original one, and these two are copies or clones of this tool. So let's just take a look real briefly at the Peachy X2. This is a titanium tool. It features this wrench. It has a bit driver here, quarter inch drive to put in a bit, bottle opener, this angled pry bar end it has a scalpel blade here I think this is a number 11 blade on this side there's a pocket clip Giriatis multi-tool uh, imitates some of those features it has the same wrench here at the end this wrench though does not have a spring to help it adjust you have to adjust it manually it has a bottle opener it does not have a bit driver down here. Instead of a pry bar, you have a glass breaker tip and then some screwdriver tips. So there's a flat bit and this end rotates. It, one second. This end rotates and it has a Phillips bit. This side, it's got a pocket clip. Instead of a uh, interchangeable scalpel blade or replaceable scalpel blade, this has a small knife blade. This knife blade does have a lock on it. This is the Resafely multi-tool. So this has a lot of the same features, that self-adjusting wrench. This one does have that spring. On the tip of the wrench, there's a Phillips head bit. It also has the bit driver down here. It's got this interesting little slot in there, which the description says is to hold a tritium rod. I guess if you wanted to put a little glow in the dark feature on your multi-tool. It's got a bottle opener, has that same angled pry bar. Here we have the scalpel blade takes the same number 11 scalpel blades on this side, pocket clip, and it has a small ruler on here, a metric ruler in centimeters. The Peachy X2 is made of titanium, and as you can see, not magnetic. These tools are both advertised as being made of titanium, and the Resafely is indeed made of titanium. The Giriatis tool, despite advertising all over the place that it is made of titanium, including here on the box, as you can see, titanium. It's definitely not made of titanium. So let's just see how these tools perform. So let's take a look at this Giratus, whatever this is. This uh, not titanium seven in one multi-tool and see how this works. Let's start with this wrench here. Uh, obvious first problem is that the wrench does not actually adjust itself. So, Now this tool doesn't have that pry bar, so let's see if this screwdriver can pry some of these staples up. It can, but it uh, the screwdriver flexes every time, so maybe maybe I need to turn it this way. No, nope. Now let's try out this. Resafely multi tool.
I've tried these out a little bit, and let me give you my thoughts on these multi-tools, uh, these clones or copies of the PGX2. First of all, this Kyriatis 7-in-1 multi-tool. This is a piece of junk. The wrench does not adjust itself. It's got this crappy little knife on here. It's not sharp. It doesn't have a bit driver, so the only screwdrivers you've got are these two, which kind of work, but because they're on this spring thingy, they're not super sturdy, unless of course the spring gets locked up. This tool here though, this I think is a direct copy of the PGX2. It would not surprise me at all if this ReSafely multi-tool was made in the exact same factory as the PGX2. There are some differences. The teeth on the wrench on the ReSafely, they're not as aggressive as the teeth on the PGX2. It doesn't bite quite as well. It does have this screwdriver tip on the end, which works really well. Uh, they both have the same scalpel blade. They both use a little detent to keep them open and closed. And the one on the ReSafely tool just doesn't seem to be as snug. So it's a little easier to open and close this blade. That might just be the tool that I got though. Other than that, these tools are virtually identical. I think that this is every bit as good as the PGX2. Uh, there's some minor differences. The teeth on the wrench could be a little better. Don't waste your money on this Giriatis 7-in-1 tool. Let me know what you think of the PGX2 and the clones. Give me your thoughts. If you'd like, you can like this video, you can subscribe, or not. I still appreciate you, and I will see you next time.